Today we're going to be taking a look at the Aukmax DC1 and DC2 dosing containers. Hey guys, Devin with Reef Dudes. Now, as many of you guys know, I'm starting to work on V2 of the upgrade of the tank. And as I'm doing that, I'm trying to find all kinds of parts to kind of make my build pristine and extra amazing. And now with that, I decided to upgrade my kind of just standard space saver containers to a little bit more of a classy dosing container. Now, after searching all over the place, I finally kind of settled on the Aquamax DC1 and DC2 containers. So today we're gonna do a bit of an unboxing and kind of check these guys out and show you guys how they look. So let's get to the unboxing. That's packaged quite well. Ton of foam padding around this guy to make sure it's safe and scratch free. I don't think I'd ever worry about this guy arriving damaged. It's like amazing packaging. Very classy looking little containers. Very thick, nice containers. They got their push fitting on there so you can use your quarter inch RODI type of line on it. Uh, drains from the bottom, which is nice. So there's no real worry about sediment or stuff building up. And it even has the millimeters on the side of it. So nice easy way to know exactly how much is left. So that's a pretty cool feature. So let's get to the big one. Wow. Oh, very nice. Nice, those guys look good. So the small containers hold a liter and a half or the big ones hold three liters and they stack quite nicely. The Aquamax containers are going to be replacing the two space saving containers. Now, no, honestly, these definitely did work. They did the job. What the Aquamax containers can do with a lot more class. Now, we want to make sure that we close the valve before we fill these for the first time. So, fill with your favorite dosing supplement. Now, what's this one cool thing is because there's not a tube in the middle like most dosing reactors or containers, the bottom we got this little valve and that's going to let gravity almost push the liquid out. So it's going to be easier on your dosing container, on your dosing pumps as well. Um, with that, and if you want to use something like a Mega Night Stir or other cool stuff that I might try down the road, there's nothing in it for it to hit like the straw inside. So that's one really cool aspect of it. All right, so we've got three liters filled in the first one. I've got our calcium chloride. And next, make sure we shut the valve before we add our solution. And we're going to add some alkalinity. Beauty. So we got our calcium, our alkalinity, and last but not least, magnesium. And again, make sure you close that little valve before we fill it. So until I get a proper label maker tape, if I want to get some clear so it looks good on this one, I'm just going to do a little mark for the dry erase on the top. So we'll see for calcium, A for alkalinity, and for magnesium. And this one will do an A for amino acids. Now let's get these babies installed. I'm going to start just by removing the old dosing containers. You may have to adjust the height of these a little bit. So this is our previous calcium. All right, so the one on the left is calcium and the one on the right is alkalinity. Let's make sure we hold them, hook them back up to the proper connections. So for now, I'm just going to set these in front of the dosing pumps until I get the new stand. And slider push connector in and open up the valve. Done. So the first one's connected. We got our alkalinity.
So guys, these look awesome. They're very sleek, classy reactors. They feel like they're very well built, so they feel pretty high quality. Um, all the connections, everything, same thing you'd use in an RODI system, so you know it's going to hold that water, you're not really worried about leaking or anything else. Um, hooked up right to the dozer, no problem, and I think they look awesome. So if you guys want to check them out, definitely recommend them. I'll put the link to Marine Depot right order from down below. And as always guys, if you enjoyed this, smash that like button. If you're new, subscribe, and keep up to date for more great videos from Reef Dudes. I love how they have the bottom feed rather than having the tube that comes all the way down. It's just a nice easy way, and if I had a magnetic stir or something later, I think it's going to bring these to the next level. Just put that on the timer and tell it to stir your tank every couple hours or once a day or whatnot.